Hello and welcome to Base Basics, lesson number two with Manny Base. <laughs> Manny, yay. Well, today we are going to learn about intervals. What in the world is an interval? That should be the first question you should ask me. Well, an interval is basically the distance between two notes. Whoa, or, or more, whatever. Anyways, um, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to show you a diagram uh, with the names of all the intervals, okay? And then after I explain the name of each interval, I'm going to show you how to play it uh, on the bass, all right? Okay, so let's talk about intervals. I made a chart here. Um, this is the names for each interval. This is the amount of semitones or distance between uh, each interval. Now, in bass, uh, a semitone is uh, a fret. So when you see three here, that means you have to move three frets. And then I'm using uh, C as our starting point. Now, I don't mean that C will always be our starting point, but in this case, I'm using C as my starting point. So if C is your starting point, D will be your major second. But let's say you use F as your starting point, then G will be your major second. Okay, so what happens when you play a note but you don't move, you stay in the same spot. In this case, you play a C, and then you play the same C. That's called unison. Um, the next uh, interval is called a minor second. A minor second is always one fret away, okay? Uh, if you're looking at C, a minor second will be a C sharp or a D flat. Two uh, frets away, uh, will be a major second. Uh, in case of C, a major second will be D. So unison, minor second, major second, then followed by a minor third, then we go to major third, then a perfect fourth. All right. Now this one here, uh, the augmented fourth or diminished fifth, which can also be called the tritone, was considered uh, evil interval because it was pretty hard to sing uh, this interval then we came to the perfect fifth then minor six major six and you know minor seventh major seven and then uh, perfect octave uh, and the octave begins the circle all over again the circle of life so this is the symbol for uh, sharp and as we said before when you sharp something, uh, you just move it up a semitone. When you flat something, which we use a uh, small b, you uh, go back a semitone or a fret in the electric bass. Now, one more thing I want to uh, clarify. Some people ask me, oh, which note is major? There's no such thing as a major note in and of itself. For something to be major, it has to be uh, compared to another note. So, for example, D by itself, it's not, it's neither major nor minor. But when compared to C, it's a major second. If we are con um, comparing D and uh, let's say um, F, in relationship to F, D uh, happens to be a major six. Okay. Just clarifying. So now let's go to the bass. So we're back. All right. So, <laughs> well, the first interval is basically uh, unison, right? Well, then if you're playing unison, you basically stay where you are. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be playing from A. Okay. This whole time I'm gonna be using A. So if you're in A, well, unison will be A. You stay where you are. Now. What about a uh, minor second? Well, a minor second is a semitone away, so if you're in A, a semitone will be A sharp. So A, A sharp, that's all. Or we can also call that B flat. So from A to B flat, that's a semitone, uh, I mean a, uh, a minor second. If you're here and you go here, that's a minor second. From here to here, minor second, minor second, minor second, okay? Now the next, interval uh, will be uh, a major second 
So if I'm in A, major second, okay, I skip a fret. So a major second, all right, from A to B or from C to D, minor second, I mean, I'm sorry, major second, major second, major second. That's all a major second is, okay? Now, uh, a minor third. Well, there's different ways you can play a, uh, a minor third. So, first one. Okay, that's one way of playing a minor third. The second way uh, will be in the next string. You go over to the next string and you go down to uh, two frets. So that's a minor third, okay? So the first way was the second way. Now there's a third way um, of playing uh, a minor third, which I use a lot, which will be uh, if you're here, what you're going to do is you're going to skip two strings, okay? So I'm going to skip the string, I'm going to skip the string, and I'm going to end up in this string. So you skip two strings and you play the same fret. So I'm in fret number five in E. Well, if I press fret number five in G, that is a minor uh, third. Now I use these a lot. Okay, so that's three ways. Now, let's talk about the major third. Okay, another very important interval. Well, uh, the most natural way of playing a uh, major third will be... If I'm here, if I want to play a uh, major third... So, to play a major third, you basically go over to the next string and you go down one fret. So, one finger. Okay, now there's another way of playing um, a major third. It's a little harder. You're going to have to slide down quite a bit. So if you're here, this will be uh, a major third. So you have to go down one, two, three, four. You got to go down four frets, okay? So if I'm here and I want to play a, uh, a major third, I can just do or go down one, two, three, four. So, okay. And the last way, similar to how we did uh, the minor third, um, I'm in this string. I'm going to skip two strings, right? And then I'm going to go down one fret. So skip two strings and go up. I'm sorry, I meant to say up. All right, so that's the other way of doing a uh, major third. So, so again, you skip two strings and you go up one fret. And like I said, I use this a lot. You know, these are very, you know. Okay, now let's talk about perfect fourths. So uh, I'm going to show you a few ways of playing a perfect fourth. Actually, I'm just going to show you two ways. So if I'm here, right? If I want to play a perfect fourth, I'm just going to have to go straight into the next string. Okay, that's it. In the I stay in the same fret. That is a perfect fourth. So if I'm here and I want to play the perfect fourth of that note, I just go there. That's it. If I'm here. Now, um, one thing we do a lot as bassists is play the perfect fourth, but sometimes we play it lower. So what happens if I'm here, for example, and I want to play a perfect fourth? Well, I can play this perfect fourth, or I can actually go a string below and go down to fret. So, or, okay. Now, so if I'm here and I want to play a perfect fourth, I can go, or I can go below. So again, to get a lower... Uh, perfect fourth you go a string before and you go down to frets okay now we're gonna talk about that evil interval <laughs> the tritone or the augmented fourth which can also be called uh, a diminished fifth okay so or a flat fifth anyways so we're here right 
to play uh, the tritone or uh, augmented fourth or diminished fifth, you're gonna go to the next string and you're gonna go up one fret. So, okay. So it doesn't matter where you are, if you're here and you wanna play uh, the tritone, or if you're here, it doesn't matter where you are, okay? Now, um, if you want to play a tritone or uh, augmented fourth that's slower, let's say you're here, you're basically going to go to a lower string, uh, string, I'm sorry, and go down one fret. So it's reciprocal, I guess, uh, or mirror image. So it can either be done or, okay? And now your best friend as a bass player, the perfect fifth. All right, so how do you play a perfect fifth? Simple, right? If I'm here, I'm going to go to the next string and I'm going to go up two frets. So one, two. Okay, that's a perfect fifth. If I'm here. All right, it doesn't matter where I am. If I want to play a perfect fifth, I go to the next string and I go uh, to the next higher string and I go up two frets. Now, this is an interval that you are going to use throughout your whole life as a bass player a lot of times. Now, if you want to play um, a perfect fifth that's lower, you just go uh, to the next to the string that's uh, behind it, all right? And you stay in the same fret. So if, if I'm here and I want to play a perfect fifth that's lower, I just go, all right? It's right behind it. So here, if I want to play... Uh, the perfect fifth of this note, I can either do this or go right behind it. If I'm here, all right. Okay, now we only got a few left. Uh, minor sixth. All right, so how do we play a minor sixth? Well, two ways. Um, if you're here, you're gonna go to the next string and you're gonna go down three frets. I mean, go up, I'm sorry, go up three frets. One, two, three. So this is a, a minor six, so you can do. All right, one finger. Or if you're here, it doesn't matter where you are, same pattern. If you want to get a minor six, go to the next string, one, two, three. There you go. Now, um, there's another way you can play it. Uh, if I'm here and I want to play the minor uh, uh, six, I can jump a string and then go down two frets so i could do this is going to be a little uncomfortable at first but you'll get used to it if you're here same thing now the last way you can do a um a minor uh six would be to uh uh go down uh four frets. All right, so if I'm here and, want, and I want to do a minor six, I just go one, two, three, four. This is the minor six. So you got to, you know, make quite a bit of a jump. All right, you probably won't be doing that too much. Now, uh, a major six. Well, to do a major six, uh, well, uh, the most natural way, I guess, would be uh, to go over a string and then down one fret. So if you're here, you're gonna go, you're gonna skip the string, you're gonna go to the string, and then you're just gonna go down one fret. All right, so. I mean, you could do it down here, but that, that's quite a bit of a jump, I think. So if you wanna do it down here, you will have to go over to the next string and go down one, two, three, four, all right? If you wanna do it in the same string, well, what you gotta do is you gotta go down three frets, one, two, three, so. Now, um, if you wanna do the um, minor seventh, well, to do the minor seventh, you are going to have to skip a string and you stay in the same fret, all right? So if you're here and you wanna do the minor seventh of that note, skip the string and that's it, all right? Same fret. You can actually even use the same finger if you want to. You can just do. All right. No, doesn't matter where you are. 
if you're going to do the minor fifth of whatever note you're pressing just go skip a string and then go on to the next high string all right and if you want to do it on the same string but lower well then you're going to just have to uh, go down two frets so do if you're here you want to do a minor seventh all right uh two more and we're done okay uh major seventh well to do a major seventh once again uh, it's almost the same as a minor uh seventh skip a string go on to to the second highest string and then just go uh down i mean i'm sorry i keep saying down go up one fret so that is your uh major seventh one more time doesn't matter where you are if you hear jump a uh, skip the string and go down and go up one fret all right that's that willy wonka oh, world of pure imagination all right and if you want to do it in the same string but lower you just go down one fret so if you're here and you want to do a major seventh just go down one fret so if you're here down one fret down one fret and finally uh the octave so the octave is basically as i said before the same note uh but with double the frequency so this is a this is also an a see how it sounds so, so how do we play an octave well you jump a string and you go down to and you go i keep saying down i'm sorry and you go up to frets okay it's counterintuitive so jump a string and go up two frets we use octaves a lot when we slap that's all octaves so when you learn how to slap that's an uh, an interval that you're going to use a heck of a lot all right well this is it for today sorry if it was long-winded um next lesson we're going to learn uh chord tones Ooh. <laughs> it's very important all right so stick around uh please subscribe uh don't forget to hit the like button and till next time